Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 2 of my Airfix 172nd Shackleton AEW2 build. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. Okay, I should have done this on the last episode. Why this build? Well, it's for two group builds that I'm doing. The first is the RAF Armourers Modeling Group on Facebook, which is doing anything Cold War. The second is for Model Officers Mess. Hop over and say hi to him on YouTube. You can also find him on Facebook with his group build of Anything Airfix. So I decided to kill two birds with one stone. Anyway, let's get into the build, shall we? To begin this episode, we'll be cracking on with a tail section. So, without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on! There we go, that's the horizontal sections holding the elevators done. Now for the vertical parts holding the rudder. Here we go with those. That's the rudder section glued. We can leave all those to dry over there. Now for the inboard engine undercart nacelles. Here we go with those.
on these don't do what I did and get all excited about the new kit and forget to dry fit all the pieces before gluing. This took me an extra 20 minutes longer to do because I didn't spend those five minutes dry fitting and checking. Oh well, you live and learn. Well, I don't. Anyway, stop getting so excited, I hear you say. Not a hope, I say. I just get really excited when I start a new kit. Then that wanes and I get bored. One of the reasons I do my channel helps me to stop procrastinating. Anywho, I'm procrastinating. Back with the kit. So, there we have those nacelles done. They're on their holders and ready for priming. As most of you know, I prime from a rattle can. So, I'll do this outside. That means the next time you see these parts, they'll be primed black. Anywho, on with the build. Now that the tail sections are dry, we're gonna clean them up and glue them together. Hopefully, the right way around. So, let's crack on with those. That's those set between my engineer's block, keep them at a 90 degree angle to the vertical and leave them to dry a bit. Next we'll be moving on to the outboard engine nacelles, so why don't we crack on with those? There we go, that's the outboard and the cells done. They went together so nicely. They're gonna be so little clean up on those. It's very, very good fit. Really impressed with this model so far. Now onto the exhausts. Let's get them off the sprue and clean them up. There we have the exhausts off the sprue and cleaned up. Next is drilling out the ends of the exhausts. Firstly, I'm using a scalpel blade to mark the rough middle. Then I'll get a drill and take out the plastic. Not my fingers this time. Then use extra thin to smooth the rough edges out. Here we go with that.
we go. That's exhaust drilled out. And guess what? No accidents. How many of you gave a slight cringe when I started doing that? Anywho, on with fitting the exhaust to the nacelles. Here we go with that. these engine flappy type things. Look, I'm an armourer. If it didn't go bang and disintegrate, I wasn't interested. This is sooty stuff, leave it to those. Anywho, let's get these cleaned up and glued to themselves. There we go, that's those engine flappy parts glued on. Now it's time for the wings. We'll get them off the sprues, cleaned up, holes drilled. Ooh, could that be a bit of foreshadowing? Maybe. Anywho, let's crack on with the wings. And that's wing one cleaned up, drilled and glued. Next, for the other wing. Okay, so did anybody spot my deliberate mistake? Okay, it wasn't deliberate, I made a cock up. Hey, it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't cock up or injure myself in one of them, would it? Anywho, let's get this cock up rectified, shall we? There we have one drilled and rectified wing, all sorted, glued back together and clamped. Well, this seems like as good a place as any to end, so thank you for watching episode 2. If you want to see what happens in episode 3, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling. <laughs>